Hello everybody, Samson here. Welcome back to another episode of Infinity Evolved Skyblock. So guys, thanks so much for all the support on the videos. As always, if you guys have any tips, tricks, comments, things like that, put them in the description. I'd love to hear from you guys. So, a couple things I want to get into today. We'll just chop some wood while I'm talking here. Um, I want to see about getting some power online. So, this has been something that's been of a bit of a bane of our existence so far. But, last episode we did get a smeltery going, and that's going to enable us to make gears, which is awesome. So, just letting you guys know, I have done, uh, I, I would say a fair bit of off-camera work. Not a huge amount, nothing obscene, but you've probably seen it. If you look over to our left... BAM! Smeltery! Check it out! So, just by melting, um, st like, stone in here constantly, we have a massive smeltery. Like, I mean, by my standards, this is pretty darn big. Also, we have a pretty good amount of lava going. Um, I've just been kind of emptying these two that have hoppers on them into our tank. Wow, there's a lot of lava in there. Almost eight buckets worth, I guess? And so, I just surrounded this with... Uh, these tanks, we got a good amount there. It's working pretty good. So we're gonna, we have a good amount of lava on standby for um, whenever we need some. I mean, we can burn it as fuel. We can do whatever we need to do. Also, growing some of these. Um, yep, getting that going because we're gonna need paper. We're gonna need books for a couple things in the future, I'm sure. And I have this set up just for Enderman. Um, now. Let's take a look right here. Yes. Okay. So, guys, I figured out how to make the survival list generator. I made some iron gears over here from our, uh, from our, this guy. <laughs> so, all we needed was, like, stone gear. We made this. You guys saw it. So, we have the survival list generators. I'm making up t at least two. We're going to need a lot of these guys, to be honest. Um, because they just don't make a lot of power. Like, it's, it's really, really minimal. I want to see if these will burn lava. I have no idea if that's even a thing. But if it does, that's going to be so much better. No, it won't burn lava. Okay, because they have a specific generator for that. But what I bet it will burn, let's see, is charcoal. I have a bunch over here. And we should probably try and take our coal and turn it into coke coal because it burns better. Yeah, it's going to be a a good thing okay awesome we're just gonna start these going I'm gonna just put both of them down right here and just get them going because they will hold their power if we need to move them they'll keep whatever power that they have going already also is this getting any RF any RF this is zero and this is zero. Oh, is it just constantly eating it consuming 5 RF per tick yeah and this is only generating 5 RF per tick. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's perfect. I guess this is a good opportunity to test something. So let's grab all of this and some of this. I need some cobble. I'm just going to make up a few hammers here. How many do I need? I need nine. I want to see if this will auto uh, compress the hammers down because that would actually be really nice. Okay, let's stick all nine of these in. Oh, that's nice, because it's a pain in the butt to compress these. So, um, yeah, that's good. I'm going to move this guy. Yeah, we're going to lose a piece of charcoal. I'm not super concerned about that. But let's start building up some power and let these guys just do their thing. Yeah, there we go. We're building up some power. We got a little bit of power over here. They hold 100,000 each, which is pretty good. So we're going to need, the reason we need power is to try and automate some, uh, some processes we're going to need a bunch more of these survivalist generators as well. Um, something else we need is an assembly table. We have our list of stuff over here of what we need to get to the point of having our own um, pulverizer. So yeah, pulverizer, you guys saw this, or if you didn't, we have this over here. We need a rock crusher, carpenter, IC2 compressor, assembly table, and some survivalist gen jennies, which we got now, just to get a pulverizer. Those are all the machines that we need. Crazy! Um, I've been melting down some ores. We got a good amount, and this is all the extra seared brick I have, guys. I ended up with so much extra. Um, I have a little bit of ore and stuff still over here. We actually have a fair bit of yellorium. So, I mean, getting into a big reactor wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, as soon as we can, that is. Now, I'm betting. Let's just prepare for something crazy. Yep, they've made it all crazy. We need a stinking computer! 
which takes iron, which takes logic compressors and iron chipsets. Pretty much have to get into every mod. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then rose red for these wires. Okay, what about the uh, control rods? Okay, that's regular, but what do these take? Steel. Okay, yeah, they changed it to steel instead of iron. And graphite and eulorium. Yep. And it only gives us two. Okay, they have made these stupid expensive. We need an MFE to build a power tap. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, yeah. They've they've gone a little far. And then for the access port, okay, that's that's pretty straight up normal. So the minimum guys, we need uh we need a controller, we need a couple or one power tap. A couple of rods. I mean, I guess technically one. You could do it with one. Um, we need an access port and a whole bunch of casings. Oh, and also these fuel rods. Hardened glass or fused quartz glass and pellet of RTG fuel. What? Plutonium? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Plutonium, which takes tiny pellets of plutonium. Um, which we get from a thermal centrifuge with fuel rods, depleted uranium fuel rods in it, uh, which we get, how do we, how do we make these? Is this a thing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's take a look again. What do we, what is this? Is there another means by which, okay. <laughs> so we centrifuge one of these, centrifuge some of those. How do you how do you make this stuff? Oh, I don't even understand what is happening right now. Oh, well, these are far away. Oh my gosh. Beeftronic diagnostic tool? Well then. So, we're not getting into a big reactor anytime soon. Oh my goodness, is that end game? All right. So, <laughs> oh, let's take a look at generators again. Um, we're definitely going to maybe, well, definitely maybe. That's a great, yeah, great wording, Samson. We're over in cores. We're not getting into this stuff. Um, but the Sterling Jennies. So these are just iron gears, which we can do. So iron chipsets, which is assembly tables, not bad. We can get into one of those. Um, okay, we do need this. And we need one of these, which is another one of this. And we need aluminum and capacitors, which is lapatronic tubes. Wow, we are going to have a lot of machines, guys. So I want to see about what does their lava jenny take? Oh, apparently it's impossible to make that. Um, furnace generator, can that operate off of lava? Because that's blocks of coal and redstone chipsets in VAR. Redstone chipsets. Okay, I think we're going to make an assembly table, guys. We're going to try for an assembly table. This is going to be a thing. So seems like it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for us assembly there we go so it's not too bad it's the standard recipe diamond gear obsidian uh, diamond and redstone so let's see we're gonna need five diamonds and we're gonna need one piece of redstone is that is that really it uh, so that's a gold gear which we can just pour gold into the gear cast. Oh, that's good. Okay, we can totally handle this. What I need to do is turn this sucker off. And we need four pieces of gold. I'm going to see if we have any un... There we go. I'm going to use just this stuff here. And you know what? Just for the sake of time, I'm not going to bother smashing it all down here. I feel like the game sounds are really, really low. Let's see. Sound. Options. Sound. Is that a little better for you guys? Like, I don't know if it's super loud. It just seems really quiet. So let's grab our ingot cast out of there. We're going to grab our gear cast. And we're going to try this out. I guess we can stick this lava inside here. Uh, yep. Oh, apparently it doesn't want to go in there. So, sorry about that, guys. So, uh, what I was saying is sometimes I find that this thing won't accept lava into, like, one or the other. Because I have two seared tanks on this guy. It's like whatever tank it's actively using is the only one that I can stick lava in. So, weird. So we have the four ingots. We're gonna stick our gear cast there and pour ourselves a gold gear. 
have a little bit of extra silver there. We'll put that away as well. All right, did we get our gear? We did get our gear. Awesome. Okay, and I need obsidian. There we go. Amazing. Um, and let's get this going. So we should just be able to do this. Fingers crossed. Yes. Okay. Assembly table. Kabam. We have an assembly table. Now, we need the lasers. Now, I'm hoping that's, like, one Essen laser. There we go. Oh, diamond electron tubes. Well, they got us again, guys. Now, five, also, five redstone per is quite a bit. I mean, we can just run off one if we really have to. I mean, all we have is survivalist generators. Oh, my lanta. One, two, three, four, five diamonds. Well, I guess it gives us, it does give us, whoops, it does give us four. Oh, yeah, and guys, look at this. We can totally do agri-craft stuff to, like, grow redstone and things. This needs to be a thing we do. Hold on. Before I forget, we are putting this on our wall of stuff to do, man. Okay, hold on. Because they have uh, a couple different agri-craft, like, crops for growing resources. Okay, agri... Agri... Redstone stone crop bam awesome i feel like i'm like that chef you know if you ever see that chef he's like bam 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 anyway <laughs> uh thermionic fabricator well then i guess we can do one of those thermionic fabricator oh my lanta that's a lot of gold sturdy oh my gosh and that's a lot of bronze well you know what man we're in it to win it guys we're like we're going for it so golden plates not even just gold so that's eight uh 16 and this is silver okay we can use just an iron chest which is iron plates okay you know what let's just let's just go for it guys i guess we need to start making up some bronze which i have a ton of copper here how much bronze are we going to need? That's 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, and 20. 20 pieces. So, hmm, if we do... I'm just going to make... You know what? I'm going to make up a little bit of extra. That's not a bad idea. 32 tin, 32 copper. I guess that's going to make us 64 ingots. Oh, we can fit it all in there, too. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So, we're going to turn this off. And, oh, we don't want to make gears oh, uh, automatically. You know what? Actually, let's take this off, and yeah, we're going to make our gears first. That is a better idea. So what do we got? We got our molten tin, and our copper's almost there. Man, I love having a giant smeltery. Okay, what else do we need now? Uh, the plates. Let's grab our hammer out, and we're going to need... Let's see, we're going to need gold, and we're going to need iron. So I need... Oh, I keep using that one. I'm so glad we have like lots of these things around. We're gonna need eight of these plates and we have a chest already yep so let's make ourselves the iron chest and I should be able to go right to the to the gold here and do one of these excellent gold chest made being put away so we don't lose it oh my gosh all right do we have bronze we have a little bit of bronze. Oh, we have lots of tin left over. Huh. I totally messed that up. I forgot that it's double the copper. Um, hmm. If I was to stick another one of these, I just want to, like, get rid of the, or it says nuggets. That's just going to be a pain. Oh, I wish I would have put it in. So I guess if we put 32 tin in to do the full thing, we needed 64 copper. All right. That's not terrible, but I don't know if we really need that much bronze. Let's just see what happens. I'll kind of I'll kind of work this out on my own, get it cleaned up. But let's get these gears made, and then I'll just switch it to ingot mode, and we should be good to go. Hopefully, let's see what this does. Twenty-one and twenty-eight. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now we have our four gears. Let's switch this over to ingots and just let her go. I didn't do that right, right? Yeah, okay, good. So now that we have that, we just need some glass and gold. We can do the gold. There we go. And do I have any glass? I have two here. I guess we're cooking up some more glass. Not a big deal. We can handle it. 
We could also do glass in here, guys, which actually would double it and make quite clear glass, I think. Now, that's the thing. It could totally be, like, changed up on us again. One of these days, I'm going to remember I have stuff in there. So, we have a sturdy casing now. We can get gold. We got our chest. Um, okay, I think we're going to have this thing, guys. A lot of resources. I'm so glad I was grinding resources off cam for you guys. Oh, thermostatic fabricator. Now, again, I think this thing uses power, like, constantly. Now, we need glass for it. So, I want to have everything ready to go before we even um, get started. So, let's go back to laser. We need diamond electron tubes. So, two redstone and five diamonds. And 500 millibuckets of glass. Uh, smooth sand is worth... 4,000? Okay, well, I guess that's going to work. Let's grab five of these and two of these. Oh, so expensive. Like, I have gr I have sifted so much gravel to get those 13 diamonds. And, yeah, super pricey. Now, I guess let's throw this down here. Oh, are we going to crash the game? Nope, we're good. Okay, melt down some of this. We're going to go, oh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go like this and like this. Uh, missing liquid resources? Okay, it's building up sp heat. Oh, please tell me you're going to have enough power. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Awesome. Oh, it totally made it. Beautiful. Okay, give me back this guy. Oh, so good. Okay. I need something to store that power in because we're going to start wasting it soon. And man, do we ever need power. So let's grab some more redstone. I guess all the redstone we have. And I should have obsidian somewhere else in here. Where did I stick all my obsidian? You know what? Do I have an... Okay, I have nine. Eh, that should be good enough. If not, we can make some more. So how many lasers? I can do one, because we have no more redstone. But we have one. So if I was to set this up, where would I set it up? Hmm, if I was me, and I was thinking of setting up this laser table, what would I do with it? I'm not even sure, and I am me. So let's see, maybe I'm going to be setting it up over here somewhere. Now, all right, I'm going to take a cut, guys. I'm going to find a good place to put this, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back and as you can see, I got a little bit of a setup going on. So in the table, I have one piece of redstone. We're going to make a redstone chip set. It's kind of cool. In here, it'll tell you how much we need. We need 100,000 RF just to make one chip set. Oh my gosh. So pretty much going to drain this entire generator worth. Um, I have one piece of charcoal in there. Each piece of charcoal makes 80,000 RF. That's pretty darn good. But... The issue is it, it only makes it at 5 RF per tick, so we need just like a stupid amount of those things to power anything of significance. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's, that's the unfortunate side of things, but I want to see about making some kind of like cable. Um, what is the, what's the thermal expansion like? Uh, let's see, thermal expansion. What is their power transferring stuff called? It's uh, item, not item duct, item duct, Flu flux duct, right, okay, um, not a resonant, not a hardener, just a lead, can transfer 200 RF per tick, it's pretty good, um, lead plates and two redstone chipsets gives us six, and four more redstone, so it's like six redstone, and these are, hold on, uh, industrial craft, okay, just normal, and then just normal glass, that's not bad, I guess we can get, I mean, it's super stinking expensive, but we're just kind of coming to expect that at this point, it's not bad, we can totally handle doing one of these, um, we're just gonna need to get a bunch more redstone, which means I'm gonna do a ton of sifting, but that's pretty cool that we can get some conduit finally, and actually look at powering some kind of a hammer or something, so, hammer, Er. <laughs> so this needs inver, inver, invar, invar, and uh, 
an anvil and a whole bunch of stuff and we don't have the one last little piece which is going to be a bit of redstone for the piston but we can see about maybe getting the rest of it all together and we'll just work on that last piece uh after so let's do this we're gonna make our anvil good it's a normal recipe we got that we need our invar we need a weighted pressure plate which we can do and then just a piston so let's stick this here this here i have the inver i made it up and we just need a piston guys that's not too bad so let's see all right i'm gonna take another cut and see about getting some kind of uh you know what? hold on no we're not gonna take a cut just yet i have obsidian let's try one more thing before i uh before i take a little break here let's see about making hardened glass I want to see if this is like like normal. I want to see if you can use the casting table. So, let's stick the casting basin. Uh, let's just grab some cobble. Do one of the sure that works. Whatever. I guess we're just gonna use that. And I should be able to like just bust this tap off and put it here. Now, if I stick a piece of obsidian in here and I pour lead onto it, does this work? We have lead, right? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Well, I had to try it. I mean, it used to be a thing. It was really cool. Um, we'll just set this back up again, and I'll just pull those lead ingots out for, like, solar panels or something. Which we can actually look at doing as well. Solar. So, we have these. The leadstone solar panel. They generate one RF per tick. Which is straight up garbage. But, it's, I mean, it's a fifth of a, one of those. Uh... Survivalist generators, which isn't bad. So two redstone, a couple steel ink, uh, nuggets, which isn't bad. The voltic cells are just iron nuggets, electrotin, um, and glass panes. So that's not bad. And this is just lead nuggets and iron. Like one of these is not a hard thing to do. The redstone is really just going to be the only thing I need to grind out. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take a little bit of a cut and I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, so I have finally finished sifting some... Uh, some dust, I almost gravel, no dust, definitely dust. Uh, I sifted 32 compressed blocks and got 11 redstone, so that's not bad. Now, one of the things, guys, is this is like technically faster, but it's less efficient. Like if I sifted it through this, I would end up getting more than sifting it through this because I think it's like five times chance. I think that's what it is. I mean, I might be wrong. Correct me in the comment section if uh, if I got that off, but I thought it was like... This was like a, you get like a little over half of what you normally do, but because you're doing like nine at a time, it's faster. Anyway, anyway, whatever. I built the uh, the piston here. We got the auto hammerer. Oh, so good to have some automation finally. Okay, so we have this guy here. Let's, it's full. Let's stick this here. It's going to start filling up, right? Is it O? Uh, it's going to use 40 RF per tick. And I'm guessing it holds uh, 60,000, 70,000, something like that. Let's see. Okay, this has started burning again. Good, because it should burn for 80,000. Yeah, that's good. So this sucker, I don't think it can do that compressed, right? No, it can't do compressed. But, let's see. It should be able to convert cobble to uh, gravel for us at 40 RF per tick. That's a little that's a little expensive, but I mean whatever. Let's, we can we can handle this. Finally got a, one piece of gravel. I mean it's not so, it's something we don't have to do ourselves, which is nice. So really, what we need to try and figure out is some better power options. Now, one thing that we can do, guys, is immersive engineering has a water wheel, which is something that's like super free power, which is really good. I don't know how much it produces though um let's see if we type in water water wheel so we need water segments a shaft of iron so we need a metal former which is something that we guess we're going to need anyway and it's a bunch of treated stuff which we can make no problem at all that's not even a big deal um so maybe next episode guys i'll i'll have some stuff uh, already oh ouch i'll have some stuff made up and we'll look at trying to do some stuff with immersive engineering that might be a good plan but if you guys have any tips tricks comments feel free to put it in the comment section down below 
always love love hearing from you guys you guys are so smart you guys know what's going on and i appreciate the encouragement guys i really really do for all you guys that have been saying great video and stuff like that i really do appreciate it uh thanks to all the new subscribers on the channel so good to have your guys support but as always we'll talk to you guys later